my god. What's up guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another fish tank video. I hope everyone is doing good and is happy and is safe um, and also keeping two meters. Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be talking about my platy breeding tank. If you guys can remember I made a video not so long ago now about trying to breed my platies, about putting a male in the female tank and well you're about to see exactly what happened so let's get on with the video so guys for a long time i wanted to breed my platy so not long ago i took it above myself and i put a male into my female platy tank um, to see what would happen and to see if it is as easy as people say it is to breed live bearers so i dropped one in and i'm about to show you exactly what happened but before i do i do want to show you some new fish that i've got recently for this uh, tropical tank just here if you can see it but i got two brand new baller sharks which are absolutely awesome they get pretty big which i'm excited to see um, and when they do get big enough i'll be putting them in over there into the uh, 240 which i'm very excited for um, but they are doing really good i also got a pleco i don't know if you're able to see him he's always hiding somewhere Oh, there he is, just around there, if you can see him. I think he's called a Gold Nugget Pleco. So guys, another quick update on the Oscars. They are doing awesome. They are getting absolutely massive now. So if this is my hand, you can kind of tell how big they are getting. They are getting super big, super active. Um, and they are just doing absolutely awesome. It's been on the floor. It has concerned me a little bit about uh, lighting, but let me tell you, they have been thriving in this tank so far. I've been doing water tests, water changes, filter changes, everything so regularly uh, as much as I have been, or as soon as I've been back, I've been absolutely on top of it. But ever since I've been away, I've got back and look at these fish, looks what happened. Oh my God, look how many there are in there. So you can't see them all because some of them are absolutely tiny, but some have grown a hell of a lot faster than the others. and. I can't get over how really, really nice they look. Look at this one here. He's got the black tail from the dad and the yellow from the mum. How awesome is that? Some are completely white like this because the dad was white, but then look at his black tail. Look how awesome that is. So let me lift this lid up so you guys can have a better look and see exactly what the little fish are like in there. So this is another shot of them. As you can tell, they are absolutely tiny, some of them. Some of them can't even pick up in the camera, but they are in there and they are doing so awesome. The water's looking absolutely perfect right now. Uh, it does need a bit of an algae clean eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take some of the stuff out as well. I'm also gonna re, uh, sort of redo the whole tank just because uh, it's looking a bit, you know, the stones need a bit of a change up and everything like that. So it'd be good to get this redone and put back up to the top shelf just there. So that's what I love about platies is some of the fry are completely different to the others. And I absolutely love that, as you can tell by that picture. So they have bred massively, which is so exciting. I will be getting a new tank for them. Uh, so it's bigger and better. So there's more room for them to swim about. So your task is to go down below and just comment any name you think would be great for those little uh, baby fish in there. So set me some names down in the comments below and I will choose some uh, if they are awesome and see if they get any likes or whatever, but that'd be great. So, so go comment a name below. Okay, so now let's jump into the feeding of these this magical tropical tank. So guys, I've put all my flakes, which I do use, into this container just because it is a lot easier. And these are just general tropical flakes for just tropical fish, really. They, uh, there's nothing special about these flakes in particular. I did make a video about what's the best food to feed your fish, so I'll also link that in the card above. Um, and hopefully that will help you out if you're wondering whatever to feed your tropical or cold water fish. So we're just going to get a little pinch like this and we're gonna simply just drop it in. Look at that, the first ones that are obviously gonna be interested is the clown loach. If you guys do keep clown loach or tropical fish, you will know that clown loach are obsessed with food. But I also find that this uh, extra large angelfish is, gets so hungry all the time, he stalks like the surface of the water waiting for anything to drop. And then he just sort of like lunges out of nowhere, like that sort of. Everyone's getting excited. It's feeding time.
enjoyed this video it was really just a little update on my platy breathing tank that i did do a video on recently to update you guys and to show you exactly what happened and as you can tell with live bearers they never disappoint you and they will breed and you'll get babies from it so if you're ever thinking about doing it, definitely if you have the space, uh, but it is awesome to watch and also awesome to see them grow as fish or from fry into fish. So I would definitely recommend doing that. So guys, I hope you all stay safe and are all good. And uh, please leave any comments down below and like and subscribe if you haven't already. And keep your eyes out next time for the video because next video is super exciting. So I will see you next time. Bye.